Okay, I'm really not going to say much on this because I talked about this at the start of our lecture, um, dehydration. Uh, dehydration is, yes, it's a medical diagnosis, but it's not a disease. Um, many things can cause dehydration. Um, not taking in fluids uh, it can cause dehydration. So whatever gets in the way of that um, or losing excess fluids, uh, so diarrhea, vomiting, sweating, um, all of those things can cause dehydration. Uh, most commonly, it occurs when there's vomiting or diarrhea and there's a decrease in oral intake as well. Um, so one of the reasons I did want to do this video is I want you to have the visual, okay? Um, the box on the screen shows tenting, okay? That means that um, they, they, they're dehydrated. They, you're pinching the skin and it's staying tented. So um, we've already discussed infants have a greater need for water. They have a higher percentage of water in their body than the adult does, okay? Uh, because of this, they're more vulnerable to alterations in fluid and electrolyte balance. Um, and these imbalances occur quickly, okay? Um, look at this image of this baby. Yes, it's a drawing, it's a cartoon. But um, just looking at the way the arms and the legs are lying, that's that floppy appearance. Um, when I say look at their muscle tone, you could lift that arm up and it's going to drop right back down. If you lift the leg up, it's going to drop right back down. Um, look at the coloring around the eyes and the mouth. Um, it's just like uh, there's not enough volume to really be circulating and making them look pink. Um, and then dry skin and mucous membranes are the other symptom. So factors that contribute to the dehydration um, remember way back the very first week we talked about finding out what their minimum fluid requirement was and what their minimum urine output should be. Um, it's important to just know how to calculate those. Um, so what are the types of dehydration? Uh, isotonic dehydration is the, is the primary form of dehydration in infants and children. Um, that means there's electrolyte and water deficits. What causes this? This is your vomiting and diarrhea and not completely replacing the fluid loss with uh, fluid intake. Um, hypotonic dehydration occurs when their electrolyte deficit exceeds the water deficit. This means when you're losing more um, electrolytes than you are water. Um, so you're going to see uh, physical signs more quickly than if it was just an isotonic dehydration. And then hypertonic dehydration occurs um, when the water loss exceeds the electrolyte loss. Um, this is uh, most dangerous because you need to be careful when you're rehydrating that you are not adding additional electrolytes um, that they don't need. You need to add enough water to dilute the electrolytes rather than add to them. So just know the three types. Isotonic is when you're losing equal amounts of water and electrolytes. Hypotonic, you're losing electrolytes more than water. Hypertonic, you're losing water more than electrolytes. And that would be the end of that.